Hi guys, hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Busha Sultan. So today I'm going to talk about uh, Bangkok with all of you and I'm going to talk about five such places which most of the people from India tend to skip from their itinerary which is a must visit I must say and why I'm saying this after watching this video you will also agree with me. Once you include those places in your itinerary then you will realize that you know this is the must visit places which I'm talking about. I personally felt so good about it so I will uh, put all the details in the description box below about the price timing and days to visit and, uh, and how to visit there so each and everything will be mentioned so not to worry about it so the major reason I'll just give you a hint of it don't want to make the video long uh, most of the Indian they book the two uh, end up uh, you know putting in uh, Siam location so they put up in Siam location and uh, in and around Siam there is a walking street there is a lot of shopping malls so we have a mindset of you know Bangkok is only for shopping or it is for pleasure but no on the other hand just a 40 or 50 minutes drive away from Siam uh, there is Khao San Road which is also one of the another uh, big tourist spot and uh, there also, that is also very happening really happening place and uh, I'll not cover the locations where to put up right now I will make another vlog on this separately uh, but yeah from Siam the location uh, is 40 to 50 minutes drive and from if you are putting up in Khao San Road then it is uh, hardly within 5 to 6 kilometers from there so it's not a long drive for you people it's uh, like two to six kilometers all the places five places will be covered so even if you are traveling with your friends you are traveling on your honeymoon you are traveling with your girlfriend you are traveling with your family you are traveling with children the places which i'm talking about these places are must visit you must include all these five places in your itinerary and you won't regret that i can promise you yeah and everything the fun everything i will not tell you right now for that you have to keep watching the video and uh, every details will be there nothing to worry and yes if you enjoy the video don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe for the further upcoming interesting videos on my channel so that you don't miss on it please press the bell icon too so without further ado let's see what i'm talking about and what are those five interesting places Let's start with one of the most ancient, sacred and magnificent city pillar shrine in Thailand. And I'm standing right in front of the Bangkok city pillar shrine which is also known as Sam Lak Muang. King Rama I of the Chakri dynasty who erected the first city pillar on 21st of April 1782 when he moved his capital from Thonbuni to Bangkok. The shrine was the first building in his new capital, the palace and other buildings being constructed later. from 8.30 a.m. Yeah. 
specific charges to be paid to attend this classical Thai dance performances inside the premises. The spirit of the pillar is considered to be the city's garden. The shrine is located in the heart of the Bangkok, just right bang opposite to our next tourist spot. Our next tourist spot is just at the walkable distance from shrine and it's the famous landmark in Bangkok and one of the must-see sites that no visit to the city would be complete without that. Tickets to the Grand Palace are sold from 8.30 am to 3.30 pm and the price of the ticket also includes the entry fee of two other amazing sites at just 500 baht. That's the entrance to the Grand Palace. You may hire a tourist guide or one may opt to have an audio guide from the right hand side of the entrance gate at 200 baht. The Grand Palace with the Temple of the Emerald Buddha is Thailand's most sacred site. So no see-through clothes or bare shoulders for women and remember to wear a long pan and a shirt with sleeves for men. Mahaprasad Hall was the royal residence in the palace for 150 years for Thai kings. The hall was inspired by the European design and was created by British architect. The palace construction began on 6th May 1782. The Grand Palace is still used for official events. Several royal ceremonies and state functions are held within the walls of the palace every year. The palace is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Thailand. The Demon Gardens There are six pairs of them standing at the gate of the gallery, most of them facing to the chapel of the Emerald Buddha. Which means they are guarding the Emerald Buddha from all evil spirits. I hope you all are enjoying the beauty and the history of the Grand Palace. It's time to say bye to the Grand Palace and enjoy the Thai mask dance. Around 20 minutes walk away or a 5 minutes drive, visitors can take the inclusive shuttle bus service from the palace's Bhima Devi's gate to the theatre which departs every 30 minutes prior to each performances. You will be glad to know that. The shuttle services and the traditional mass dance are now all included in the Grand Palace ticket, so no more additional charges. During the live performances, the artists step down from the stage and interact with the audience, which is pretty cool.
ก้อนติลาทั้งตาบจมไม่ตื้นเขินต้นขานานไม่หินเนินแนวถนนหาพิษพิษชะบดถ้าหายนักหรือจะมีตะรูปูยักอยู่ใต้น้ำถ้าเกาไรต้องชวนกับลงไปดูจะได้กำจัดพวกตะรูปูไพรียูไม่รีสต์เวนยูบิฟอร์ฮันทูเก็ตยูพิกเจอร์สคลิกทูดีอาร์ติสต์ฟอร์ฟรีนาวอิสไทม์ฟอร์อาร์เน็กซ์เดสติเนชั่นเลตส์กอล์ดัตเทมเพิลออฟเอมเรลบุดดาวดัมมิวเซียมดิสเพลย์เซเวอร์ลอาร์ติฟักส์อัสโซเชทต์วิดดีเอมเรลบุดดาวและดีกรานพาลัสออนดีกรานฟลูร์ยูวิลฟอนดีบูนส์ของดีฟอร์เมอร์คิงส์ White elephants and old palanquins. This is the place where original Emerald Buddha was kept. Supreme Court of Thailand, just next to the Grand Palace. I hope you all enjoy the video, and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. And if it ever happens you visited to this place, please mention in the comment section below. <laughs>